Let us consider perhaps the closest we could get to testing, whether a miracle has taken place. The New Testament presents a very interesting occurrence, which provides one of the very best tests for ascertaining whether a miracle took place from John chapter 4 verses 46 to 54. Once more he visited Cana in Galilee where he had turned the water into wine. And there was a certain royal official whose son lay sick at Capernaum. When this man heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and begged him to come and heal his son who was close to death. Unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. The royal official said, Sir, come down before my child dies. Go, Jesus replied, your son will live. The man took Jesus at his word and departed. The man took Jesus at his word and departed. There you have it, the nobleman asked for a healing and Jesus claimed to have granted it. Next we find that. While he was still on the way, his servants met him with the news that his boy was living. There it is, Jesus claimed to have healed the son and it was so. And now comes the test. When he inquired as to the time when his son got better, they said to him, Yesterday, at one in the afternoon, the fever left him. Then the father realized that this was the exact time at which Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. So he and his whole household believed. This was the second sign Jesus performed after coming from Judea to Galilee. This is quite a test, matching up the time of the claim to have performed a healing to the time when the healing actually took place.